So I'm working on a new project with uh, here this Musaylamat uh, al-Asr, the Musaylam of our time. Although all these Mu'ammameen, all of them are Dajala, charlatans. This is Abu Charlatan. Check this out. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. So we at Sunni Defense came to the conclusion that Ali ibn Nur, our beloved brother, لا يحفظه, can't have all the fun with Mahdi al-Mudarrasi, the charlatan. For those who are new to the series, he, Mahdi al-Mudarrasi, whose father and uncle are great ayatollahs, and he's from a Shia clergy family, a famous and famous one, the Mudarrasis. He is one of the many uh, charlatans who espouse nothing but stories, made up stories, khuza'abalad, uh, nonsense and khurafat superstitions, and of course kufr and shirk in the name of Ahl Bayt. Uh, this is what most of these mu'ammameen are known for. Nothing but over-exaggeration uh, with the Ahl Bayt, alayhum salam so I've prepared something for today. So let's listen to the so-called Sayyid. أنه هذا تراب مقدس. على كل حال من المستحبات أن الطفل أول ما يولد يفطم بماذا بطين قبر الحسين أن يحنك بتراب الحسين وبشيء من ماء الفرات هذا في الأحاديث هذا في الأحاديث he says that's in the أحاديث yes of course it's in the أحاديث أحاديث by the زنادقة the قومites ها by the مدرسيز and سستانيز and نقجابانيز and other أبزوردستانيز who lie upon the أهل البيت عليهم السلام يحنك يعني يأخذون الطين و إلى السقو في سقف الفم بتراب الحسين سبحان الله You see these people are the champions at distorting Islam in the name of Islam and he Belize has chosen تشيع just like he has chosen other فرق باطلة false sects to distort Islam to fight Islam in the name of Islam the actual Sunnah, subhanAllah, has been narrated by Ummul Mu'minin Aisha and by other Sahaba. Ummul Mu'minin Aisha. The truthful Aisha radiallahu anha, narrated from the truthful Messenger of Allah, the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. The Prophet says she narrated that the Prophet used to put something sweet, i.e., in his case at that time, dates in the mouth of the children. And look, this is over 1,400 years ago, and today, and you can look it up, huh? scientists say that a dose of sugar given as gel rubbed in, uh, into the inside of the cheek huh? is a cheap and effective way to protect, to protect preme premature babies against brain damage. So, tahnik is the practice of rubbing huh? a piece of softened date or anything that is sweet, as the scholars of the Sunnah say, certainly not grave dirt, soil, on the roof of the mouth of a newborn. A beautiful and noble practice, subhanAllah, from Islam. That's the actual sunnah. Hakada, yeji hada al-tifl yadkhul ila al-dunya bi dhikr al-Husayn. Yadkhul ila al-dunya wa yastalhimu al-baraka min al-Husayn wa al-shifa'a min al-Husayn. This is how it should be done, with grave dirt. So that a child enters the world with what? 
the name of Allah, Bismillah, Tawheed, La ilaha illallah. No, of course not. With the remembrance of Hussein. Everything is about Imams, primarily. Some people, when we say these things, they say, yeah, but they mention Allah as well. Don't they say Allahu Akbar? Don't they say in their prayers? But that's the very definition of shirk. Huh? That you associate partners with Allah. Not that you don't believe in Allah at all, and that you don't call on Him at all. Look at this. Imam-centric, as I always say. Islam, Ahlu Sunnah, Allah-centric, God-centric. Whereas in Rafidism, in Imamism, it's mostly about Imams. And if they talk about the Prophet, Ali Sallallahu he's like a delivery man for the main deal, which is the Imama of his cousin, Ali bin Abi Talib, the cousin of the Prophet. The Prophet is just a delivery man. So even, even if they mention him, they mention him at Ghadir, yeah, you know, oh Prophet, convey what your Lord huh, has revealed unto you. He's just a delivery man. And this is the result. Bidhikr al Hussein, yadkhul ila dunya not a word about Allah. There is not enough grave dirt around the, a, a, a normal grave. So you see, they are very clever, these Mu'amim and the Shaytin. No, 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 it's not just, it's not just um, the grave of Hussein. It's the whole city of Karbala. <laughs> MashaAllah. And again, look, that itself, you see, you see, as I said, as I mentioned, Imam-centric, the holiest soil, the most sacred soil, it's not the soil of Mecca. In Imamism, forget about Mecca, Aslan. For them, not the soil of Medina is the best soil. No, it's the soil in Karbala. That, that inner, that alone, for people of intellect, if they just ponder over this, they will understand how, yani how false and how on how much on falsehood Imamism is built upon. That alone, for people of intellect, it should it should suffice. Anybody who is of intellect understand that these people are people of ghulu, people of over-exaggeration with the Ahl al-Bayt. So, so here the shaitan says the whole Karbala, the grave dirt, is, its dirt and its soil is, um, is holy and powerful. And look how powerful it's uh, uh, supposedly. Yani four miles. يعني تقريبا كل مدينة كربلاء خلاص الله يريد يعطي الله يريد يبارك يقول أي, أي مكان من تراب الحسين ومن مدينة الحسين التي على ترابها سفك دم الحسين هذا فيه الشفاء بل مو فقط الشفاء أمان من كل سوء كان العلماء يأخذون تراب الحسين يخلوه في الماء ويخلطوه فكان إذا يجي سيل أو زلزلة فلود أرثكويك كذا كانوا يسكبون هذا الماء على الأرض فكانت تهدأ كانوا ينجون المدن بأكملها ببركة الحسين صلوات الله وسلامه عليه صلوات الله وصلى على محمد وآل محمد صلوات you know after every كفر and good night story خرافات خزعبلاد fairy tales a salawat follows and then this you know you know as an ex Shia والله if I think about this because I'm I myself when I used to be Shia and I was Repeating the nonsense these people say that, oh yeah, you know, Tashayu is built, is based upon Aql, Aqlaniyat, you know. Aql has a very high position in Tashayu, you know, just like Mu'tazila. They claim these nonsense as well. For these people from Aql. Unbelievable that these people claim rationality. Aql, Mantiq they study in Qum. Anyways, look at this shaitan now. If you think, if you think that this guy is somebody, First of all, of course, he is mainstream. His family is one of the most influential Marja, yani Grand Ayatollah clan in the world. All right. So, if you think this is not representative of anything, look at this Iranian Muammam turban hat. <laughs> Allah, 
These floods are unprecedented in Iran's recent history. They are very intense, huge, and uh, are covering 23 provinces of Iran, which is very unusual. <laughs> So as you can see, subhanAllah, 2019 there were these massive floods in uh, this catastrophe in Iran. Many innocent people died, many. Sunni, Shias, the whole country huh, was hit by these floods. SubhanAllah, look, look at these shayateen, these mu'amameen. Huh? Like Mudarrasi and the other one you've seen throwing huh? this torba, clay, grave dirt into the floods. This country in the, in the whole of Middle East was hit by floods like no other country. And they have kilos upon kilos, <laughs> thousands of kilos of grave dirt. These are the masters of grave dirt, right? Okay, where, where, where was the miracle? Hmm? Where was the miracle? And then, as you heard, the scholars, they toss and they pour it against uh, natural disasters and then the earth calms down if there are floods and whatnot. Okay, طيب. Now, Mr. Mudarrasi, bring some of your, where was your grave dirt and these Iran floods 2019? Huh? Aslan, you don't need your countries then, your one or two countries more you don't have anyway. You don't need then, uh, we don't need, you You don't need firefighters and, you know, rescue uh, workers and so on and so forth. All, you have the super uh, grave dirt of Karbala. So as you can see, the viewers, uh, charlatans like this person, you know, who I named uh, Musaylamatul Asr. The Musaylamah, you know, Musaylamatul Kadhab, Musaylamatul, uh, the Muslim of our times. This charlatan. Abu Shalatan, I named him. There, every Mu'ammam is a little Musaylima. Every Mu'ammam, uh, when I say Mu'ammam turban heads, not an insult against turbans, the real Muslim turbans. I mean these with their weird, sick, sick looking turbans from Qom and Najaf and Karbala and Isfahan and whatnot. Every one of them is a little Musaylima, a, a storyteller, a zindiq, a heretic who these people, instead of doing what? Instead of teaching their own people huh? about Qur'an, Hifthul Qur'an, improving the Tajweed, war, um, teaching them about Tawheed, warning against Bid'a and Shirk in the societies. Instead of this, these, the, these are the stories that are attributed to the Ahl Bayt. And we couldn't care less for one condition, if it wasn't attributed to Ahl Bayt and if these people wouldn't claim that Ahl Sunnah on Batil and that the true Islam is only with them, as long as they claim this, we have the absolute freedom and right to expose them for the for the con artists and fraudsters they are. Allahul Musta'an. Allahul Musta'an. Ya Shi'at al Alam, istayqidu. Wake up, Ya Shi'as. These people are nothing, nothing. But du'ad ala abwabi jahannam, as our beloved Muhammad wasalam, called people who call to falsehood. People who call to falsehood. Callers who are standing at the gate of jahannam and calling people with nice and sweet slogans. Ah, God loves you. Jesus loves you. Yeah, Jesus, my dad. Oh, your pure yo loves you, Fulan. Oh, call upon this saint. Call upon that angel. Call upon. Oh, Ahlul Bayt, alayhi wa salam, sallallahu alayhi wa ole, loves you. Oh, call upon Ali, call upon Fatima, call upon this Imam, call upon this. Eat this dirt, eat this grave dirt. Do this, do that. This is, this is how they have fooled millions upon millions. And as I mentioned, these people are only good for these fairy tales and made up stories. That's so why you will never or barely hear, hear them speaking about Tawheed and Sunnah and follow, calling upon Allah alone, seeing the scholars standing on the member and warning against shirk, huh? warning against kufr, warning against and baseless stories and khurafat superstitions, huh? and calling people to Tawheed, barely. 
What is what are these people known for? For wailing and more wailing and more wailing. Allah hatta yisir li qulubina tawajjuh wa hatta yatawajjuh ilayna sayyid al-shuhada aydhan la ba'as bi dhikri ba'adhi abiyat bil-musibah Ah, yeah, yeah.